I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot the inductive pickup as an RPM input. Here I have the RPM input box. I've disconnected it. And I'm going with a locking tab on top with a paper clip. I'm going to connect these two on the left side here. And the important thing to understand is I am tapping. I'm not just connecting, I'm tapping. If you go we'll look at the screen, you'll see I'm getting a response. See that? On the upper left corner there, I'm getting a response. Okay? So that is telling me that the box is working and the harness is working. Okay? Now, if I plug in the box, I'm going to troubleshoot does the system work through the inductive pickup. Now, this one has a sensitivity knob. I'm turning it fully counterclockwise, which I think is lowest sensitivity, and I'm going to touch between the upper left corner of these two 8-pin connectors are 5 volts. The lower right is ground. If you're not sure, check with a voltmeter. So I'm tapping. I put a pin in to touch the wire here, and sometimes you get it through the string tube, and sometimes you've got to poke it through the string tube, and sometimes there's a little hole. But I'm trying to make connection with this pin to the metal wire in here. And if I touch this, and again tapping, you see, I will see a response there. Now I was wrong, uh, I turned it to a full sensitive. I, if I turn the knob to full non-sensitive, which in this box is fully counter, or fully clockwise, you can see it goes away. And now I turned it back to fully counter, counterclockwise, and the sensitivity comes back, and I'm seeing the signal right there by tapping. It's critical to understand I am tapping and releasing. And that's how you check out your inductive pickup to see if it's working or not.